Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Monday, September the 27th. It's the 18th week after Pentecost, and week 6 in the Psalm Cycle. And please join me. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, once you spoke in a vision, I have exalted one chosen out of my people. Alleluia. Psalm 89, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, once you spoke in a vision, and to your holy ones you said, I have laid the crown upon one who is a warrior. I have exalted one chosen out of my people. I have found David, my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him. My hand shall hold him fast, my arm shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not deceive him, nor the children of wickedness afflict him. And I will crush his foes before his face, and plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness and love shall be with him, and in my name he shall be victorious. I will set his dominion from the great sea to the river. He will say to me, You are my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. I will make him my firstborn, higher than the rulers of the earth. I will keep my love for him forevermore, and my covenant shall stand fast with him. His descendants I will make endure forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Once you spoke in a vision, I have exalted one chosen out of my people. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 6, beginning at verse 25. Do not worry. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns. And yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Therefore, do not worry, saying, What will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things, and indeed your Heavenly Father knows that you need all of these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's trouble is enough for today. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions for those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone. For all who serve in harm's way, especially Dan. For the victims of terrorism and violence. For those who are sick, especially the victims of the COVID-19 pandemic for the aged and the infirm, and for all suffering from dementia, especially Monique, that they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy. For prisoners and captives, for the persecuted and for refugees, especially Christian, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth. For all who died, especially Philip, Ed, Marilyn, and Wayne, that together with Francis and Clara and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. For the mercy of God community, for Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother William, Brother Max, Brother William, 
and for all the Mercy of God associates. For those who are struggling with addiction, especially Bill, strengthen their resolve and restore to them the assurance of your unfailing mercy. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O God Most High, Rock of our salvation, hold us fast, make us strong. Crush our enemies and save us from those who hate us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.